Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 4 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Circle each expression that is not equivalent to the expression in bold. So not equivalent. Alright, A we have 37 times 19. So our first option here is 37 19. So we say it, that's 37 19. That's 37 times 19. So this one is equal to this expression. So we leave this as it is. We don't circle it or anything because we're only circling the ones that are not equal. Our next one, we have 30 times 19. So that is happening here. But then for this to be equal, um, next one, we need to have like a plus 7 times 19. Notice how it says minus 7 times 29. So we have some weird funky numbers going on here. And it's doing minus 7. So this one is not equivalent. Alright, and now we have 37 times 20 minus 1. So we saw the things in the parentheses first. 20 minus 1 is 19. 37 times 19, that's equivalent. So we leave this one blank. Alright, next, solve the ones in the parentheses first. Alright, 40 minus 2 is 8, um, no, 40 minus 2 is 38 times 19. So that is 1 more than 37, so this is not equal, so we circle this one. Alright, now let's look at B. 26 times 35. So first option, 35, 26 is, so if you say that out loud, it's like 35 times 26, which is the same. So this is equal. Next, we have 26 plus 30 times 26 plus 5. It's got them, some weird numbers going on here. We have like 50 times 31. That's not, we have like 56 times like 31. That's not equal at all. So we circle this one. 26 times 30 plus 26 times 5. 30 plus 5 is 35. So, um, we have 30, 26 times 35. So this is equal, so we leave this one blank. All right, next, 35 times 20 plus 60. 20 plus 60 is 80. So that's 35 times 80, and that is not at all close. So this is not equivalent. All right, C, we have 34 times 89. 34 times 80 plus 9. Solve the parentheses first. 80 plus 9 is 89. So we have 34 times 89. So this is equal. So we leave this part blank. 34 times 8 plus 34 times 9. Alright, so 34 times 8 and times 9 8 plus 9 is 17. That's not 89. Because for this to be true, it would have had to be... 34 times 80, because we have 8 tenths, not 8 one. So this is not equal. Over here we have 34 times 90 minus 1. Solve parentheses first. 90 minus 1 is 89. So we have 34 times 89. So this is equal. So I leave this one blank. And 89 34 is, if you say that out loud, that's 89 times 34, which is the same. So we leave this blank too. All right, number two solve using mental math. Draw a tape diagram and fill in the blanks to show your thinking. The first one is partially done for you. So we're solving using mental math. A, we have 19 times 50. So 19 times 50. First, let's fill this in. 19 times 50 is 1950s. So it's telling us to think of it like 2050s, and then we can just minus 150 because 20 minus 1 is 19. We're doing that because 20 is like a whole 10. And it's easier to do it with like 10s. So 2050 is 20 times 50 minus 150. 20 times 50. 2 times 5 is 10. And add the two zeros. So we have 1,000. And minus 150. 1,000 minus 50 is 950. So that would be our answer for A. All 
All right, and B, 11 times 26. So notice how over here it says plus. So we're adding something here, and this is 26s. So we're doing something with this 11. So what can we do with this 11 that involves addition? Well, we can do 10, think 10 26s, and then add one more 26. 10 times 26 plus 1 times 26. Let's draw a tape diagram too. So 10 26s, 1, 2, and so on until we get to 10 and 11, 26. 10 times 26, that's 26 and add the zero. And then plus 126, 260 plus 26 is 286. So it also equals 11, 26s. All right, next page. C, 49 times 12, first of all, that equals 49 12s. So this is think blank 12, so we're doing something with the 49. That involves subtracting. So 49 rounds to the nearest 10 is 50. So we can think 50 12s minus 112, since 50 minus 1 is 49. That's 50 times 12 minus 1 times 12. 5 times 12 is 60, and add the 0. 600 minus 12. 600 minus 12, that would be 588. And let's not forget our tape diagram. And so on. Until we get to... crossing that one off to show we're subtracting all right d let's see 12 times 25 so we're doing something with the 12 here since we have 25s here also it means 12 25s so think let's see what can we do with 12 that involves adding 12 to the nearest 10 is 10 so you can do 10 25s plus 2 25s that's 10 times 25 plus 2 times 25. 10 times 25 is 25. Add the 0. Plus 2 times 25, that's 50. So our answer would be 300. So now let's do our tape diagram. All right, in number three, define the unit in word form and complete the sequence of problems as was done in the lesson. All right, A, 29 times 12 equals 29 twelves. So let's do our tape diagram. Saying think 30, all right, so 30 is close to 29. So we're thinking 30 twelves minus 112, and that's 29 twelves. So 30 times 12 minus 112. 3 times 12 is 36, and add the 0. 360 minus 12 equals 348. Let's draw our tape diagram. After a little bit, we're crossing off the last one to show minus 112. Alright, B, 11 times 31 equals 31 11s. So now it's thinking, think 31 11s, because 31 is close to 30. So think 30 11s plus the 111 to get to 31. 30 times 11 plus 1 times 11. Let's start by drawing tape diagram. After a little bit, then it would be 
11 to 31 elevens. 3 times 11 is 33, if I add the 0 at the end, plus 11. 30, 330 plus 11 is 341. So that's our answer. Alright, now let's look at C. We have 19 times 11 equals 19 elevens. So 19 is close to 20, so we can do 20 elevens minus 1 11. So that's 20 times 11 minus 1 times 11. 2 times 11 is 22, add the 0. Minus 1 times 11, that's 11. 220 minus 11, that's 209. And our tape diagram would look like this. After a little bit, is um we're crossing off the last one. Now let's look at D. Fifty times thirteen equals thirteen fifties. All right. So 13 is close to 10. So we're thinking 10 50s plus 3 50s equals 10 times 50 plus 3 times 50. 10 times 5 is 5 and add the two zeros. 500 plus 3 times 5 is 15 and add the zero. 500 plus 150, that's 650. Now our tape diagram. We have 50. After a while, we have 10, 50, oh, we have 50. 1050, 1150, 1250s, and 1350s. Alright, now let's look at number four. How can 12 times 50 help you find 12 times 49? Well, we can multiply 12 by 50 first. And then subtract 112. So let's do our work here. 12 times 50 is um, the same as 12. So 12 times 50 tells us from 12 times 49. So it's 49 twelves becomes, I think, 50 twelves. Minus 1, 12. That's equal to 50 times 12 minus 1 times 12. 5 times 12 is 60. Add the 0, that's 600. Minus 12. 600 minus 12, that's 588. So that can help us find um, 12 times 49. And number five, solve mentally. 16 times 99. 99 is really close to 100. So we can think of it as 16 times 100 and then minus 16 times 1. 16 times 100, add the two zeros. 1600 minus 16. Minus 16, that's 1584. So our answer is 1,584. All right, and B, 20 times 101. 101 is really close to 100. So we can do 20 times 100 plus 20 times 1. 20 times 100, 2 times 1 is 2. And add the zeros. 2,000 plus 20 equals 2020. So 2020. That's 2020.
that's our answer. All right, number six, Joy is helping her father to build a rectangular deck that measures 14 feet by 19 feet. Find the area of the deck using a mental strategy explainer. Okay. 14 times 19. 19. So 19 is really close to 20. So we can use 19 to help us find it. All right, so 20 times 14 do minus one times 14. Two times 14 is 28 at the zero. 280 minus 14. 280 minus 14 has 200. 66. So that's our answer. So you're thinking, so I, or not I, do I multiplied 20 and 14? And then subtracted one times fourteen from that, basically. All right, and number seven, the Lason Lason, I'm not sure. Lason School turns one hundred one years old in June. In order to celebrate. They asked each of the 23 classes to collect 101 items and make a collage. How many total items will be in the collage? Use mental math to solve. Explain your thinking. 101 times 23. So over here, we forgot to write equals 266. Wait, okay, 101 times 23. 101 is really close to 100. So we can do 23 times 100, and then plus 23 times 1, because 100 plus 1 is 101. 23 times 100, just add the zeros at the end, and then plus 23 times 1, that's 2323. So this would be our answer. Alright. Here. Well... 2,323 items in the collage. We explain our thinking numbers. So yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!